stage at Big Summer Show with Brendan Urie of Panic at the Disco. Hey. Man, it is good to see you Always again. Good to see you. And um, just glad to have you in St. Louis. Thanks. It has been a, kind of a rough, um, you know, couple of days, rough couple of weeks for society. So having yeah. some dancing and some singing and some performing That's here right. tonight. That's right. Music is always uplifting for me. And that is exactly what yeah. we're here for tonight. Awesome. Now, you guys have been on tour now with Weezer for a little bit. Are we almost going on a full month this month? Yeah, point? it's about a full month and a week. It's so crazy. Are you still enjoying it so much? Or are you starting to kind of feel that wear? Oh, absolutely loving it. No, loving it's, it. it's crazy. Like, <clears throat> I didn't know how it was going to go. I was so nervous to start the tour just because I'm the biggest Weezer fan. I think I you and I might have talked about this before that we're yeah. like maybe the younger siblings <laughs> and then we have older siblings. Right. Like. So did your older <laughs> siblings get you into Weezer then? Yeah, I stole my sister's cassette tape, a blue album. Amazing. Sorry, Kyla. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you didn't steal it from a store. You stole it from her, and she probably yeah, yeah. purchased it. Oh, she bought it. She bought I mean, it was a cassette tape, if anything else. You probably had to rewind it back with, like, a pencil. Oh, yeah, I had the pencil because it was a little loose, and then, you know, popping the boombox. You kids don't even know. Did you ever cover Weezer songs growing up, kind of, like, playing and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, I learned drums. I learned guitar. I, like, learned what harmonies were and how they worked, and... Yeah, that album taught me everything. So have you ever covered one, uh, have you ever covered a song live? Of theirs? Yeah. Ooh, no. <laughs> Which one would you do if, for ch you say that as if you wouldn't just slay it. No. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm going to go out there and do Bohemian Rhapsody, but I couldn't do R Rivers Weezer and I song. talked about switching sets. He, he would, would do a fit. Panic set and I would do a uh, Weezer set. I would love but, yeah, to I see would him do, to do I Write it. Sins. I think he'd really <laughs> nail that. I think he would crush it, yeah. <laughs> so um, Bohemian Rhapsody is the cover yeah. song that you guys have been doing, and it is Awesome. Thanks. I feel like it's a karaoke favorite for lots of people, Absolutely. but they really don't get there. But you do. <laughs> but you Appreciate do. So, that. And it's definitely arranged in a way yeah. that it's very Panic at the Disco. Did you do that all yourself? Oh, yeah. I mean, because we had been doing that song uh, like three years ago just for fun and like sound check and stuff. And then, yeah, I seriously considered it. And I just spent two weeks building this whole track for us to play along to. Because, I mean, you watch the, the Queen stuff when they would play it and they'd have to walk off stage for that middle part and just kind of let the video play, and then they would come back for the <laughs> yeah, rock out yeah. part. But yeah, it's, it's really fun to, to arrange that stuff and get like, I just have so much respect now, because I had all the stems. I had the vocal stems. Freddie Mercury is a monster. His, his vocals are so crazy in that. Well, I, I'm one of those people who think that uh, someday we will look back on, on you in that respect, and I know a lot of the new album is very Frank Sinatra oh, vibing, yeah. so you kind of uh, really vibe with the heavy vocals, but yeah. vocals aren't all that you're good at. <laughs> um, I think in the industry, a lot of people would say triple threat. You sing, you dance, your music videos prove you act. Um, uh, clearly, you're a Pokemon, as what your Instagram shows. <laughs> you can't catch him, so don't even bring, don't bring your Pokeballs here. You know who this um, is. I mean, come on, guys. You, can, you cannot, cannot catch him. Um, but I, I think we got to get you. I know you've done James Corden as like a performer. Yeah. But man, oh. speaking of karaoke yeah. and you, how, who do I call to get you on carpool karaoke because I'm a huge I fan yeah. and I know you've been on the show but yeah. like okay so I went on the line online and like looked for a campaign I found one on change.org <laughs> really I kid you not so far 13 supporters but nice. I feel like that's just the beginning <laughs> yeah, of what yeah. we can really drum up right. because you have to it just like <laughs> needs to be done I mean I would love to and when we did Corden he was the nicest most welcoming he walked he just knocked on the door and we opened it up and James Corden's just standing there he just comes in and gives us all the biggest hugs and he's just the nicest guy and then uh, we started singing a song to, I, I think it was Whitney Houston, because we were singing Whitney Houston, and he just started singing with us. He's a killer singer, too. He is. Phenomenal singer, so. And I'd love yeah, to had, hear him do your songs. I would you love guys do to the do whole some thing. karaoke. So, like, Get at me, James. I feel like we're just going to, we're going to have to, you know, maybe in St. Louis, maybe I have to start that movement, and if that's the case, yeah. so be it. This is like the third or fourth time you've come to We got to go nationwide. We got to go nationwide. We really, this. really do. <laughs> well, not only uh, do you sing, um, you're an incredible dancer, you vine, you Instagram, <laughs> you act, um, yeah. but you also sometimes take over at other radio stations. I actually heard that you were like taken over at Sirius and stuff yeah. like that. So um, have you ever wanted to take over a video interview with the radio DJ and like flip that What's script? What's up, guys? It's your boy coming at you live. Ah! Um, yeah, we can do that. That was, per that was it. <laughs> that was like perfect. You know what I mean? Like, good. Brendan Urie, backstage, big summer Ow! show. Winnie in the butt. No. Um, amazing. <laughs> I <Sorry>. love family. <laughs> yes. So I'm sure we can expect this kind of energy level from tonight's show, right? Oh Are you gonna goodness. you're, you're going to go nap in between now and then or do yeah, you keep yeah. it going? Yeah, yeah. I I'd like to take a little 15-minute power nap. Then I wake up, work out, and from that point, it's just like a blur of Red Bulls and then screaming on stage. Perfect, so perfect. Fun. All right, well, I'm backstage, uh, Big Summer Show with Brendan Urie, Panic at the Disco. Uh, Death of Bachelor is out now. It is absolutely fantastic. Get past, I mean, the singles are great, and we've been playing uh, the nonsense out of them, <laughs> but get past them because the rest of the album is so good, and if you're Thank not you. at the show tonight, I'm terribly sorry for you. Yeah. But if we all get on the internet together and work really hard, yeah. 
Let's get this guy in car- carpool, carpool karaoke. It's so I can just watch. I just want to watch it myself. It's a selfish thing. Or we could just do our own. Yeah, we could do that. We, we could do that. do that. All right, we're going to go do that. You guys enjoy this video. <laughs>